Hey guys, welcome back to The Untidy Artist. Today we'll be making homemade laundry detergent. This is a great way to wash your clothes without having to buy expensive name brand laundry detergent. It's fast and easy and my sweet daughter Gabe made some for me for Mother's Day and I thought it would be fun to do a tutorial on it, so here we go. Okay, so the first thing you'll need is some Borax detergent booster and you can just find this by the laundry soap at the grocery store. It cost me about $5. You'll also need some Arm & Hammer washing soda. This is different than baking soda. It is also a detergent booster and I found this right next to the Borax. The cost on this was about $5. You'll also need some regular baking soda. This just helps to deodorize your clothes. You'll need some Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. This is an all-purpose soap that's super concentrated. It's organic and fair trade and quite lovely, and you can use it on everything from washing your face to cleaning your house, and it's great to help get your clothes clean. This comes in a lot of different scents. I really like the lavender. Then you'll need some essential oils. I have lavender and a citrus blend here, this part is optional. I really like the fresh and clean scent it gives my laundry. You'll need some measuring cups. I have a one cup and a one third cup measurement. And then I'll be using this glass measuring bowl to measure out my water. We'll be measuring out a total of 17 cups of water, so this came in handy. And then to ensure that your detergent is mixed really well, you'll need a wire whisk. Another tool that came in really handy was my immersion blender. This is a little blender that you can actually stick inside of liquids. Um, it's great for soups and blending up different things like that. That is totally optional. If you have it, it works really well. If not, a whisk works perfectly. You'll need a pan to boil some water in. Make sure it's at least a two and a half quart size. You'll need a big bucket to stir everything together in. This is a 10 quart size bucket. A five quart works really well also. Then you'll need something to put your laundry detergent in. You can put it in anything from a mason jar to, I really like this plastic container because it allows me to shake up my laundry detergent and use the little purse spout at the top. For Mother's Day, my daughter put mine in a glass container that she got from the craft store. The first step is to boil six cups of water, pull it off the heat, and then add one cup of your borax detergent booster. The hot water will help the powdered detergent to dissolve. You don't want to boil your detergent, so be sure to take your pan off the stove. Now go ahead and add one cup of your washing soda. Then grab your Dr. Bronner soap, and we'll also be adding one cup of this. This soap is really concentrated. I bought this whole container for about $17, and I've used it to clean lots of things. Now add one third cup of baking soda. And once you have all of that added, just go ahead and stir this together. You'll want to whisk it long enough that all of the detergent dissolves into the water. Then I've already measured eight cups of water into my big bucket here. And this is just room temperature water. I'm going to go ahead and add the additional three. So we have a total of 11 cups of water in the bucket. And now we're going to add our six cups of water that's in our pan with our detergent and stir those together. So you'll be using a total of 17 cups of water. Now we're going to add our essential oils. You can add anywhere from 10 to about 20 drops of the essential oils. I ended up putting in about eight drops of the citrus and eight drops of the lavender and I really love how this makes my clothes smell. Now go ahead and give it another good stir with your whisk, just mixing it all together thoroughly. The next step is to pour it into your containers. I really like using the mason jars. It's also a fun way to give it as a gift. And don't fill it up completely. Leave a little bit of room at the top because we'll need to mix it again. Like I said before, this is a nice container to use because it does have a little pour spout and you can easily shake it. You can also use an old laundry detergent container. Don't know where the lid to this one is right now, but that worked well also. 
Then you'll want to let it sit overnight. And the next day you have this weird, funky looking liquid stuff that looks more like a science experiment than laundry detergent. But what we're going to do, all that's happened here is the soap has separated, part of it has hardened, and the rest has stayed liquid. We'll be blending all of this together so in the end we'll have a thicker and creamier consistency to our laundry detergent. And then this part is also optional. My daughter put a little chalkboard sticker on the front of my container and this is just a chalk pen that I found. It's really fun, it also writes on metal. And she labeled my container on the front for me. Now we're going to blend everything together. So I took my immersion blender. Once again, you can do this in a normal blender or just use a whisk. And what you're doing is whipping air into your laundry detergent. So it makes it creamy and thick and gives it a really nice consistency. It does have a tendency to separate sometimes. That's okay, just give it another good stir. And that's it guys, your laundry detergent is finished. This soap is highly concentrated, which means you only need to use about a fourth a cup. This recipe makes just over a gallon of laundry detergent. Check out the comments below for detailed directions in how to make this. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do, and check out some of my other tutorials on my YouTube channel. Thanks guys, see you next time.